Hi right, guys, how's going on? My name is Luis and God bless every single one of you. Today is February 2nd, 2023 and welcome to the Grand Prix News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, some very important information coming out. 340,000 without power in Texas, guys. 2,300 flights canceled. At least six DEAD as winter storm sweeps the sleeping giant. All right, guys, so the numbers are piling up when it comes to the power outages. Earlier today, there was, I think, 150 to 200,000, and then 300,000. Now it's 340,000. But, guys, before I start with this video, I want to show you something really quick. I just found this on, um, on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, guys. Um, a lot of people are actually kind of uh, worshipping a statue uh estonians uh build a statue of mr z all right guys before i start give this video a big thumbs up share this video with your friends family so loved ones i appreciate the love and support and for those of you that want to contribute to the channel once again the paypal link and the patreon link is in the description box also guys one dollar a month patreon we get your access to our live stream every sunday we talk about things that we cannot talk about in this plat you know what form also guys i posted videos today those link will be in the comments box guys i know this is a little bit off topic but this statue reminds me of uh caesar oh julius uh excuse me julius caesar uh, the way they got him, over, uh, you know, they gave him uh, a look. They gave him one of those uh, clothing that, uh, you know, those powerful Romans back then, the way they dressed. And he has a book. I have no idea what the book is. The first time I saw this, guys, I thought it was like the Statue of Liberty. And knowing, you know, the history of Statue of Liberty, man, I'm not down with all that. Again, those are pagan stuff. But uh, a lot of these statue has meanings. He looks like Caesar. That's that's scary. That is scary. Give me a second here. Give me a second. Give me a second. We're gonna compare the statue here. Compare the statue. All right. Um. Here's one here. Uh. It's kind of similar. But this one here is, uh, here we go. This is a statue of Caesar. He has an armor on though. Um, what in the world is that? I have no idea what is that. It seems like a young one. It seems like it's an, it has an angel wing in the back. Augustus Caesar. So if you look at his face, like the statue, it kind of looks like uh, this one right here, just a little bit. So Estonians uh, build a statue for their hero, Mr. Z. All right, uh, with the fist pumped in the air. Follow me on Twitter, guys, because I post a lot of stuff on Twitter. You wouldn't believe the stuff that I'm finding. So, but this book right here, if you guys have any idea, like any information when it comes to that book, let me see if I can zoom it in so you guys have a better view. Uh, I don't know. Give me one second here. Let me just, this comments here. Let me just read the comments, guys. All right, so that's a statue of my mechanic. Someone, okay. Uh, the brake manufacturer is that the second coming? Behold the beggar. <laughs> okay. Uh, So powerful. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's a lot of, I'm trying to see this, any comments here, like someone, uh, explaining about the book. If you guys have any idea about the book, uh, just, just let me know. <laughs> um, yeah, if you guys have any idea 
of this book right here just let me know leave comments out below all right and the bottom part stand with the yellow and blue country my goodness if only they knew all right uh so let's see what's going on here guys with uh texas and see what's going on with the uh the power outage um again the sleeping giant is getting hit really hard sleeping giant is getting hit really hard now this is a long article guys i'm not going to read the whole thing i'm going to leave the link in the comments box but uh basically it's multiple states being impacted here so please pray for many people this is a second update yesterday i did post a video the link will be in the comments box um so it says here texans in more than 340,000 homes and businesses brace for near freezing temperatures without power. I got to remove myself, guys. This is a video down here. It won't let me pause it. All right, so it says brace for near freezing temperatures without power Wednesday and more than 2,300 flights were canceled amid an unrelenting blast of treacherous icy conditions and brutal cold that has left at least six DEAD. And my deepest condolence and prayers goes to the families and friends that lost their loved ones. Please be safe out there, guys. So the winter weather system now in, in its third day has swept from Minnesota deep into Texas. Wrecks on slippery roads have been reported in Texas, Arkansas, and other states across the region all week. Now, we really cannot emphasize this enough. Do not be on the roads. Again, do not be on the roads. The National Weather Service office in Fort Worth tweeted Wednesday. They are going to virtually be impossible uh, through today and midnight. I think I'm going to use this uh, for the title um, for the video. Along with the scary statue. I don't know what one name I should named the video but again guys there's going to be different title name to this video all right so you have school system across arkansas along with those in dallas austin texas and memphis tennessee canceled classes for thursday power outages were expected to last 12 to 24 hours in texas state capital as ice brought down power lines and three limbs austin energy warned now the city's community owned electric utility uh, said its crew were facing icy roads and frozen equipment, which made it difficult to provide estimated restoration times. All right, there's a lot of videos here, guys. So parts of Texas, parts of Texas uh, were colder than Alaska. Man, ooh, Texas is always getting hit, man. It's like they can't catch a break. Uh, so parts of Texas were colder than Alaska earlier in the day. AccuWeather reported a real feel. Temperatures of 28 degrees in Dallas on Wednesday morning. Three degrees warmer than the... Let's skip that name there, guys. Alaska. All right. Jeez, it can't catch a break. In Memphis, Tennessee, services for... You know who... Uh, D-I-E-D, -E after being... Okay, I'm gonna skip that one. Actually, that's not even part of the article. I'm sorry, guys. Right now, it's almost 12 o'clock. I'm really tired right now. Winter storm warning was in effect until Thursday in East, Central, Southeast, and Southern Oklahoma. LaGuardia Airport in New York experienced a ground stop for the second morning in a row because of wintry uh, conditions and later reported average delays of more than 40 minutes. So wind chill of 35 degrees below zero in northern Minnesota. So a Minnesota annual winter walk and winter walk to school day Residents of some areas of North Minnesota woke up to temperatures as low as minus 25 degrees. The National Weather Service office in Duluth said light winds meant 35 below in some areas where a wind chill advisory was in effect. The winter walk event encouraged everyone to travel by foot for at least 15 minutes and don't let the cold scare you off. 
The state transportation department says on its website, it adds that uh, celebrations can start small or include an entire school. After all, this is Minnesota, the land of ice fishing, hockey, cross country skiing, uh, what? Bat biking and sledding. Okay, why wouldn't uh, we throw a walk and bike to school day? All right, skip a lot of this. Dallas airports have hundreds of cancellations. More than 1,300 flights into and out of Dallas Fort Worth International Airport, three quarters of number schedule were canceled by early Wednesday afternoon. So Flight Aware reported. The airport uh, tweeted that all traveling to DFW airports should consider road condition and allow extra time to travel to the airport. Please approach entry and departure plaza with extra caution. Nearly 400 flights were canceled into and out of Dallas Love Field. Officials warned travelers to allow extra time for shuttle services that were experiencing delays. The flight struggles come almost exactly one year after a winter storm forced cancellation of more than 2,000 flights at area airports. Can catch a break in Texas. Memphis closed schools struggles with ice. So schools in Memphis, Tennessee canceled classes for the second day in a row Wednesday and the Memphis uh, Blue Department implemented its uh, inclement weather cr uh, crash policy. Now the Blue won't respond unless the crash is serious and drivers must file a police report within five days. Most city offices were closed and Memphis International Airport were reporting average delays of up to 45 minutes. The number 45 minutes keep popping up. I just post a video of L LAX airport was down 45 minutes. So good news. That's good news, guys. Finally, the weather service office in Memphis tweeted the third and final round of freezing rain and or sleet will start this afternoon. Temperatures should rise above freezing tomorrow. Mid morning and percept, uh, percept will change back over to rain. No, a lot of people is moving to Tennessee, guys. A lot of people are moving to Tennessee. Those that live in California, like the, uh, you know, the blue state, many are moving to Tennessee in uh, Florida and Texas. So uh, it, it, it just there's a great exodus going on. Winter storm warning continues in parts of Texas. Again, we back in Texas. An ice storm uh, warning is in effect until Thursday morning in parts of North and Central Texas as mostly freezing rain and sleet were expected in the, uh, in the area. And then, uh, now the National Weather Service in Fort Worth said, the weather service warned that significant icy was expected and accumulations could reach up to half an inch. Power outages and th uh, trees damage were likely because of ice. An official warned that drivers should keep an extra flashlight, food, and water in their vehicles. The state of Texas is working around the clock to keep Texans safe and warm over the course of this uh, severe winter weather and flooding event. Governor Greg Abbott uh, said Texans are urged to remain weather aware and stay off the roads if possible. Now six passed in Texas. Emergency responders have been rushing to hundreds of highway crashes across Texas since Monday. At least six passed on slick Texas roads, including three in a crash uh, Tuesday near Brownfield, about 40 miles southwest of Lutbach. Uh, now again, my deepest condolence and prayers go to the families of friends that lost their loved ones. Please be safe out there, guys. Authorities said, also said one person in Austin was also out in a pre-dawn pileup Tuesday. A 45-year-old man passed Monday night after his SUV slid into a, you know what? So again, guys, um, please be safe out there. There's more, guys, but again, uh, please be safe out there. My condolence to everyone. Uh, to all the families and friends. All right, guys. Basically, the rest of the article. 
I'm going to leave in the comments box. It's a really long article. Austin struggles with outages. More ice coming. I'm telling you, Texas can never catch a break. There's going to be a pileup of outages, guys. They are reporting there's going to be a pileup. They use the name pileup uh, because there's going to be a lot more uh, uh, outages to come. I'm just going to show you the title here, guys. Once again, um, you have ice storm warning stretch to Arkansas, Mississippi, and Tennessee. It's not even over. Arctic blast heads for the northeast. So intense Arctic air was were targeted north northeast later this week. Accurate weather reported a shift of the polar vortex will be at the heart of the brief of uh, cold blast. Meteorologist Burning said. So temperature in some New England states could drop by forty to fifty degrees in twenty four hours before Friday night but they're expected to bounce back by Sunday. Boston may dip to 10 below zero by Saturday morning. And in parts of Maine, uh, temperatures could drop to 28 degrees below zero over the weekend. California mountain snowpack at highest February 1st level in four decades. Now I'm just gonna leave this part guys. Like I said, uh, the rest of the article, I mean, the, uh, the link of the article would be in the comments box. Winter Storm Tracker. And here's the National Weather Radar. Just looking at this right here, guys. All this. All that. Hmm. All right, guys, I'm going to leave the rest uh, in the comments box. But uh, again, please continue uh, to pray for many people out there. More than 50 million, believe it or not, more than 50 million uh, sleeping giants are uh, warning weather alerts. And the numbers of the outages is going to rise. And uh, again, guys, please uh, continue to pray for other people. They, they're building statue of this man. It's like they love him. They worship him. If only people have that energy to serve our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I would never, ever bow down to a man, guys. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, P.O. Box number 2, 3432, U.S. Highway 19, Holiday, Florida, 34652. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give your life to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time. Till next time later. Peace.